Coming up, Google wants to bring Android games to PC next year. Ubisoft just had a trademark filed for Splinter Cell very recently and Telltale talks about Wolf Among Us too. Google seems to be bringing Android games to PC by next year. This was first talked about in the Game Awards show. The service won't stream games through cloud gaming or Wi-Fi connection. Instead, it will give you access to the Play Store app on PC, and then you can install the games and play them. Google's product director of games on Android told The Verge that this will be a native Windows app distributed by Google, which will be supported by Windows 10 and above. Unofficially, you can actually play mobile games on PC using Bluestacks, which allows you to play, you know, Play Store games on PC. Bluestack also released Bluestack X, which allows you to play Android games on browser using cloud gaming. But that is still in beta at the moment. But there is a limitation with Bluestack and that is you cannot utilize or use all the apps that is present in Play Store in PC. But Google's official integration on Windows should not have those issues, although it is unclear how many apps can be used and which games will be supported. With this new application, it can completely change the scene of mobile gaming. Majority of Indians play games on mobile phones and many utilize emulators to play games on PC. And with this official way, it will be a much more easier way to play any games. Now obviously a lot of people might not be happy about it, a lot of people might be happy about it. So let me know what are your thoughts about mobile games that you can play on PC officially using Google's new app. A lot of games were shown in the Game Awards and one of them that I'm personally excited about is Alan Wake 2. It's a sequel to the very popular Alan Wake and since Alan Wake Remastered was earlier launched this year, there were rumors that Alan Wake 2 must be the next one in the line. Remedy's Sam Lake said that the first Alan Wake had elements of horror but it was still an action game. However, the sequel will be Remedy's first survival horror. It will be Remedy's take on horror which I'm super excited about. Alan Wake 2 will be available in PC exclusively on Epic Store and there is no information about the game other than the fact that it is a survival horror and psychological. Sam Lake himself mentioned that they will go dark fitting the nature of the game and they will talk about it more in summer next year. For the time being, Alan Wake 2 is supposed to be released sometime in 2023. Alan Wake 2 itself is a really cool psychological action game but has horror elements in it. It's one of those games that came in 2010 which blew my mind off and now the remaster allows more people to play the game in a much better quality than they could have played back in 2010. And we already know that Remedy is trying to make some kind of a universe, so Alan Wake 2 will be like the beginning or the continuation to that universe. We will see whether anything from Control can come through in Alan Wake 2. Right now Alan Wake Remastered is available in Epic Store for anyone who has never played it and it's pretty cheap as it's available for just 709 rupees. It looks like Ubisoft has submitted a new trademark application to the term Splinter Cell on December 6, 2021. This was filed under Classification 41 which is intended for entertainment services. The application suggests that a new entry in the Splinter Cell franchise could be in the works. Now, Ubisoft can use this trademark for various different purposes. This trademark can also fulfill entertainment going to movies and TV shows, but it could be possible that this is a new entry to a new Splinter Cell game. The last Splinter Cell that came out was Splinter Cell Blacklist, which a lot of people did not like as much as Splinter Cell the previous games, but still it was very well done in my opinion because I played it and I really enjoyed it. There have also been hints over the last couple of years that a new game is in development. Creative director Julian, for example, said in 2019 on Twitter that he was working on the next Splinter Cell. And then he went to say, okay, please don't retweet, I may be in trouble, before changing his profile picture to a pair of night vision goggles. Now obviously he is definitely hiding something, so it could be possible that there is a new Splinter Cell game or it could be possible that there is no Splinter Cell game and it's just for a movie or TV show. It could also be possible that it could turn around to be an NFT because well, Ubisoft is doing that and a lot of people are definitely enjoying it. Regardless of that, Splinter Cell is one of those franchises that a lot of people really want it to come back with a brand new game. Even me, I'm a big fan of Sam Fisher and I would love to see Splinter Cell if it's done right. The Game Awards saw a new game from Telltale Games, however, there was no announcement or talks about Wolf Among Us 2 which was kind of disappointing. Now, Telltale Games have officially released a statement about the game. They said that they will be bringing more info about the game very soon and the team is hard at work and will give you the best game possible. They also said that they will open up more about the game, what new engine they're working on, as well as how Telltale is rebuilding a new studio in a Game Informer's 342 issue. 
Telltale would not have been able to make Wolf Among Us 2 if it was not for LCG Entertainment who helped revive Telltale and now Wolf Among Us 2 can be a reality, however it is very hard to say what's going on with the team. In the meantime, Telltale is making a new episodic series by the name The Expense based on the hit Amazon Prime sci-fi show. For this game, they are partnering with Deck 9 Studios who made Life is Strange True Colors. There is also another game by the name Star Trek Resurgence which is developed by the creators of Telltale games of Batman, The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. So yes, there are some exciting games definitely coming from Telltale games based on movies but again, we still have to wait and see what Wolf Among Us will have in store when it comes out. We don't know when but hopefully soon. This Game Awards, we saw the announcement of Final Fantasy VII Remake coming up on PC on Epic Store in December 16th. But the problem is the pricing of the game. Square Enix just went up with price and now the game is priced at $70 that a lot of companies are not doing at all. Nowadays, we usually see last-gen consoles and PC games getting priced at $60 with next-gen console having an additional $10 price making it $70. But right now, Square Enix is going in a completely different lane and making the price bump up to $70, which is way too much. Forspoken, which is also published by Square Enix, is right now priced at $70 or Rs 4,799 on Steam, which we have never seen before. Some games do cost $70, but they usually have something more to give. These Square Enix games are just base games, which makes them the first ever publisher to release their games at $70 across the board. Now the issue lies here is that because of this, a lot of more publishers will be you know, following them and making their game $70. Hopefully this can be somehow turned around and price can be reduced because I don't think so. A lot of people will be going and buying $70 of a base game which then will have DLCs and a lot of other stuff. I mean there will definitely be people who will be buying the game but still not a lot of them because $60 already seems a lot of money and now you're bumping it up to $70. That's well, not a good deal, man. Well, with that being said, this was all the news that we wanted to talk about in this episode of Top Gaming News. Hope you guys enjoyed this, got some information out of this. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you think about it. And also subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more game news just like this every single week.